Hey everybody, Jeff Hunter here, Pro Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac, here to show you the 2019 GMC Sierra Elevation Edition. So the Elevation Edition is something we have had in the past, you're probably familiar with the name. However, there's some new differences. Of course, the overall truck is different, but there's some other differences with the Elevation Edition uh, that we didn't have before. But some of the things are the same, we can start there, are the painted front bumpers, painted grille. That is the same as the previous generation Elevation, of course, you got everything paint matched, the, the back bumper painted as well, door handles, all that kind of stuff. Now, the other thing that's the same, of course, is these right, right down here, 20 inch black wheels. Now there are a different design wheel, I'll give you that. And I actually really like the looks of these ones. Um, but again, they're, re they're retaining that painted front end with the 20 inch black, um, uh, black aluminum wheel. Okay, now some of the things that are different though, if you head right up front, we had HID headlights in the, in, in the past Elevation Editions, which are obviously a great headlight. These now are using, of course, we have the LED, uh, LED daytime driving lights, LED fog lights, but now you get an LED headlight, which I can tell you firsthand makes a massive difference. For those of you who are off the beaten trail, you're driving places where there's no uh, street lights, or you're on the highway a lot, those LED headlights make them, like, like I'm telling you, make a great difference. Uh, and that's something that comes standard on the, uh, on the new 2019 GMC Elevation. The, now, the, what we're looking at right now, has the 5.3 motor in it, okay? So again, 5.3, similar to what we had before. However, it is not similar in a couple ways. Number one, we're using a 3.23 gear ratio in this truck. We used to have the 3.42 uh, to pull just over 9,000 pounds. So you're getting a little lower gear ratio to pull the same amount of power. However, horsepower is around the same 355. But what's different underneath that hood right now is we have something called dynamic fuel management. In the, in the past, in our 2018s, you know, 2018s, 2014s, 2017s, all that kind of stuff, we had something called active fuel management, which I'm sure you've heard of. And what that does is it drops from eight cylinders to four. But now underneath that hood, we have something called dynamic fuel management. And what that dynamic fuel management does, it allows us to use seven cylinders, three cylinders, six cylinders, two cylinders, however many cylinders the truck needs to do what it's doing. And the truck is intelligent enough to figure that out on its own. Not to mention, it doesn't use the same, let's say, two when it goes to two or three cylinders, it doesn't use the same ones. It cycles them uh, so they're not being, you know, uh, worn as easily and, and things like that. So for longevity, of course. Anyway, so um, let's go through a couple other things. We're looking at the exterior. I mentioned the headlights. We also have a little bit different mirror. So the mirror is different. It's in a different location. It used to be up here. Now it's down off there. Not to mention we have these now, which are like a working light. Uh, so uh, it'll cycle through. You can turn them on. And I'm telling you, they're an LED as well. They are super bright. So if you need to see in front of you, uh, for some extra light, you're working on something, uh, you can do that. We do have new running boards now too. All right. So if you're familiar with our GM boards at all, these are a little bit different style of running boards. And the black obviously lends itself nicely to the black wheels and the darker color of this particular truck. Um, Heading here, you're gonna see the wheel wells. The wheel wells are now a bit more rounded. The idea behind that is for more clearance. So if you do wanna put a bigger set of tires, you can do so, uh, put a little bit more beefy without having to do a lift or leveling kit. All right, uh, something else you've done. We've always had the step in the bumper there. But these are bigger now. So if you have a work boot, a snowmobile boot, you're trying to get in the back, gives you a bit more space to put your, uh, you, you know, put your boot in there. And obviously that will make a big difference. One of my favorite new things, you'll see right here on the key fob, right there is that i mean obviously we don't need that but come on that is pretty slick right super easy easy to use drop a tailgate especially if your hands are full if you're coming out of the house whatever um but what i will tell you too is now that tailgate is aluminum so the the weight of this is unbelievably light i mean before we had the dampening system of course it's light but that is noticeably lighter than what our old tailgate was heading back into the box here though this is a five foot i think they're saying it's a five foot nine box with five foot eight five foot nine uh but the idea now that we have is a much wider and deeper box than we ever had in fact to the point that our 5.8, 5.9 box is now has more interior volume than our competitor Ram and F Ford F-150 than their six and a half foot boxes. And a lot of it is due to massive width back here. Some of the things they've changed is now how the LED lights off here and they are very bright. Uh, some more tie downs. So you can see there's some extra tie downs there. We still have the grommets there. You can take out, put extra tie downs or some more tie downs up front. And of course this one does have the spray and box liner sliding rear window right there. And you're gonna see here, we actually have a plug-in back here now. And this is a working plug-in as opposed, I mean, well, the other working one inside the vehicle, but this one actually will run a power tool or anything like that. So if you have a, you know, a drill or a saw, it will run off the back, uh, which is something we've needed for, for quite some time. In the elevation tradition, you're now getting something. This is similar to the old one. They've changed the name right here. It's called X31. What is X31? Well, X31 is basically Z71. So you had the option before of getting Z71 in the Elevation Edition. Now it's X31. X31 gets you underbody skid plates, Rancho name brand shocks, higher intensity air cleaner, locking differential, um, hill descent control, as well as these fancy little guys back here. That's your dual exhaust. 
I think that looks slick. I think it makes it look sporty, and it definitely fits the look of this Elevation Edition. And speaking of sporty and speaking of looks, we also have added, or GMC has added, that little spoiler right there. Something we didn't have in our previous generation, something I really like. Now, something else we've added to this truck, and I'm gonna show you uh, inside on the screen as well, but while we're outside, we have added something called the Pro Grade Trailering Package. Pro Grade Trailering is now an app we can have for your phone, and I'm gonna go through it in greater detail in another video, but basically what it does is allows us to do some things with our trailering that it was a bit of a more of a nuisance before. So one of the things, of course, that I used to hate doing is, you know, you would, you know, easy enough now with the backup camera, we can load onto the vehicle or onto the trailer. But if I had to check my lights, I had to get out, you know, turn the signal on, get out. There's an app now for your phone. So if you want to check this signal, you hit the app on the phone, it'll do that signal. You want to check that signal, it'll do that. Do the brake lights, it'll do that. So you can be outside the vehicle behind your trailer, knowing, uh, you know, linking up the truck to the trailer to make sure that uh, all the lights are working without having to get in and out of the truck. Not to mention, there's also, um, with that ProGrade trailering package, you're gonna get wheel uh, sensors. So uh, as we already know, you have uh, tire pressure sensors in these trucks right now, in the tires. Now you're gonna get something that goes, uh, the wheel sensors that are gonna go in the trailer itself. So the trailer now, well, it'll tell you if the trailer tires are low from the inside of the truck. So I think that's pretty cool. And there's even some security features. So obviously that's our lighting hookup right there. If we hook our trailer in, we hook the lighting in, we're in a hotel or whatever, we're traveling with our trailer. Somebody decides they want to steal our trailer. As soon as that becomes disconnected from the truck, an alert will go to your phone saying that obviously it's being disconnected and to go check it out. So anyways, those are the few of the things of the 2019 Elevation Edition on the outside. But I think we should go have a peek inside, should we? All right, let's go. So before we go inside, I want to show you one of the things I love that they finally changed as well. We now have right here, keyless entry. So if I were to press that button, as long as the key's in my pocket, it'll unlock the vehicle and I can get on in. That is something we've been lacking for a little while, but we do have now. Uh, you probably didn't see because I didn't show you as we got in, but this does have the Bose stereo system. It's still gonna have, you know, your power windows, power locks, all that's pretty straight, standard, pretty straightforward. Now, there's some differences right off the bat up in here. Okay, so our older Elevation Edition, you had a dial here to switch between auto, four-wheel drive, high, uh, four low, and two-wheel drive. However, now we have a dial that does something different. So push button here will choose between our you know, four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive selections or auto. What this button here, or this dial does now, is it allows us to, if I, I'm gonna turn the dial here and watch on the screen. There's sport mode, there's trailer mode, uh, kind of shows it down there. But anyways, you can switch between a, a sport and a tow haul mode, okay? And that used to be done up here on the gear selector, but now it is done over here. That's one of the main differences. Uh, we have a couple other things here. This is the lighting right here that I was mentioning on the outside mirror, so you can control it from there. And then the lighting for the back, uh, the back in the, uh, the tailgate as well. Then you have your fog lights button there. Speaking of which, of course, I think, <coughs> excuse me, I mentioned outside, but we have fog lights in this model as well. One of the things that we could not get in the previous generation, Elevation Edition, which I love, which we have now, boom, right there. Especially for us here in Sault Ste. Marie and in Canada, we have the tow haul mode now, or sorry, tow haul mode. We have the heated steering wheel. How about that? I got my mind all over. It's heated steering wheel, something we've been lacking in this mid-trim level truck. And speaking of mid-trim level, we do have, of course, the cloth seats, okay? But we have the big center console, which has a lot of storage here. And look at this cool feature. That is what they call a console vault. It's a lock, it's a lock, like it's a locker. You can lock anything in there you want. Passport, um, you know, whatever it is, it is actually metal and it is a, it is a safe. You can lock things in. All right, and we have our USB, USB-C, SD card, all that kind of stuff. That is a really cool feature. Something very uh, brand new to, to us and, and to GMC and uh, of course to the Sierra. Uh, of course, uh, some of the other controls in the steering wheel, they're pretty much in the same spot as the older generation was. If you want to control your cruise control, your audio controls, as well as the, uh, the controls for the, uh, the screen right up there. Uh, eight inch color touchscreen yet again, like we've had in the past, um, with a couple little bit, little differences. Now we have the trailering option here, and if I hit that, it's going to show us a couple of different uh, uh, things where you know if you want to um, uh, do the trail light test, for an example, as I was mentioning. Uh, going back here, if we put it in reverse, there's one little different option now too. If I put it in reverse here. On this particular one, we don't have all the round vision cameras, but we have your regular backup camera, and you can just change the line so you can see right now. There's your lines there, but if you want to have your trailer line, kind of hard to tell, so you can line right up on the ball of the truck. Um, another nice thing right here, push button start, something we didn't have. So of course now they're a key fob. As long as you have the key fob on you, you can get in the vehicle and you can start the vehicle without having to take it out of your purse or pocket. Um, some of the dials are different. I mean, most of it's pretty similar. This looks a little bit different. We've got a Chrome, we have our separate climate control still. Uh, this one, we're gonna have the uh, heated seat option, of course, okay? Again, it's cloth. So you're not gonna have air conditioned seats, but you are gonna have the heated seats. Trailer rate controller has been re relocated down here. It used to be up there, but of course, as we've talked about, we've reconfigured some things. So now the trailer brake controller is down here. Again, USB-C, uh, USB, um, some other power outlets again. And again, when I was talking about in the back for the plug-in, 
This plug in here will charge something faster, an iPad, a tablet, a laptop, whatever. It charges it faster than it would if you just have it plugged into via USB, which also charges it. Um, but it won't run like a dust buster or a, a power tool, whereas the, the, uh, the, the plug-in out back will do that, okay? Um, this particular one has park assist. Uh, I didn't show you outside, but it has front park assist and rear park assist. Um, there's your tailgates uh, button there, the four flashers, traction control, um, yeah, the, the, the plug-in, and then of course you have your hill descent control. Now, one button on here that's different is this one right here. See that eight of the circle around it? That is also very new to us. And because what we have is another new technology, besides dynamic fuel engine, we have something right here called auto stop start technology right there. See auto stop. That is new, not new technology to us. However, it is new technology to our full size trucks. And basically, well, we had that in one other truck, which was our e -assist truck, but new to the, the general population, the general average of all of our trucks is now auto stop start. What that does, if you're at a traffic light, it'll it'll uh, go, your RPMs will be right here. Might, it'll drop down, it'll say auto stop. What that means is when it's in park, the motor's off, motor's off. Everything else is running, your air conditioning, your radio, everything else is running, just save fuel. By the time you have your foot off the brake, before your foot's back on the gas, the, the vehicle's already started. There's some of us out there that don't like that technology, might freak us out, whatever it is. So that is why they've incorporated that button there, that auto stop button, because you can turn it off. So right now, that's it. Now it's off, so it's not gonna have that, you know, that, that shut off when I'm stopping a traffic light, if that's something you're scared of. Uh, although it is a really cool, really awesome feature. Um, you still have right up here, you can link up to your garage uh, door opener at home. And then we have, of course, the uh, power sliding rear window right there. And again, that's power and there's the frost in it. At one point in time, you could only get, uh, well, before our 14s, at least anyways, you could only get rear to frost or power sliding. Now you have the option for both. All right, and if we head back here, more room back here. This is another part that I love. Seats left up and we have some storage options as well. So you can see right here, you can lift that up. That's a pretty cool storage back here. Finally, have we have well, we have some more controls, and we finally have vents back here. In some of our upper model trucks, you can even have heated seats, but the elevation, this particular one doesn't have the heated rear seats. However, more room than what we used to have before. Again, I was sitting in the seat and I put it as far back as I could just to show the video uh, up front. But anyway, and then you still have your cup holder armrest. But another new feature is this right here a little tether right there, a little lever. That's because there's storage behind the seats. How brilliant is that? Right? I mean, not, there's no there's no space wasted in this new 2019 GMC Sierra Elevation. Anyways, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. As always, I want to remind you, if you have any questions, concerns, please email me, call me, text me, whatever it takes. As always, thank you so much for watching.